What's up, everybody? It's your boy Kakarot, bringing you a technical how-to video again on Dragon Ball Online connection problems. I'm even rocking out the Capsule Corp shirt because I'm trying to look smart. And yes, those are two different wristbands. Um, for a lot of you, I know are still playing. Probably at least 90% of the people out there are easily playing, but I'm having still quite a few questions of connection of uh, connection problems, and with the I noticed some bigger channels now are promoting Dragon Ball Online. Um, it's a very popular game, and it's going to become even more popular. So maybe there's this video will at least help out a couple of people um, who are running into the dreaded, which I'm going to get to. A lot of people are saying that the game's not responding and they quit out kind of early. Based on how fast your computer is, this will do like kind of a non-responding for up to like a minute. Um, I just kind of left click, left click a little bit, it speeds it up, don't ask me why. But you get to your Dragon Ball Online, you're excited to play, I'm happy, I'm typing in my account name, I'm typing in my password, and you get the famous grayed out everything. You sit there, you don't know what to do, and eventually, let's just let the error load that a lot of people ask me how to fix. Waiting start button is grayed out first thing you should check and you get this now it is possible that the servers are down but um i would just check with the forums or ask somebody who plays but usually i'm going to show you why you're having this problem i'm also going to i'm going to show you how to set up your antivirus and firewall as sure as well as two surefire backup plans to get this game to work so these are the two files you have to make sure you have dbog dbog launcher I'll even show you how to use the English patch as well. So, you're gonna open up your, uh, first I'm assuming you're having an error free installation. We'll worry about that at the end of the video if you're having errors installing. But if you have an error free, error -free installation, um, I'm gonna show you guys Norton Security Suite because it's the most common one. It's like free with Comcast. I have better ones on my better computers, but this is just my laptop for just research and stuff like that. Nothing major, so I just use Norton's good enough. Um, you're gonna go to settings, and this is where you have to set it up. The reason I got blocked is because it's blocked, because I loaded the game before I made the exception. Some people just will be able to load the game with no problems, but usually this is the problem. Uh, that it's like kind of like a di uh, I think it has something to do with like the digital signature is really old on Dragon Ball Online. Something to do of that nature. It's a little over my head, but that's what I assume it is, and that's why you're having problems with it. It will block it. The trust is a big red X because it's not trusted, but trust me, this is trusted. So this showed up because of that. I'm gonna go to allow and apply, or if you want to do it correctly before you even load the game. I want you to go to add. We're going to add and we're going to go to where you installed it. I installed it on the good old C drive. Uh, Dragon Ball Online, it's not my C drive. There's my C drive. Dragon Ball Online Global. I, you should be able to just add the whole folder, but with this you can't. You just go, you, you click on, you click on uh, your folder and you uh, click on the DBOG and the DBOG launcher. Add both of those in there, which I already did. And it'll usually say like custom or something. It's not trusted. Uh, you just override it and go to allow and apply. So your firewall is set up now. You added the exclusions in there, um, or you—that's exactly how it should go. Now we need to set up the antivirus, which is a total jerk to this game. You go to your antivirus. You go to scans and risks. You search, it's obviously different with different programs, but you just have to kind of do your due diligence and try to just try to find it for yourself. Um, uh, go down to something that will say something like items to exclude from scans. This is what we want. You go and configure it. I already have it configured, but this is a much better setup. You don't have to add the files individually. I just go to add folders, uh, go to your C drive again, I just add the whole folder, click OK, which I already did, and that will exclude the whole folder from being scanned. And you just apply it and you hit OK. Then you hit close, and now it's set up. Now I'm going to show you how to use the English patch. The English patch, as, as far as 
the current English patch. Not everything's English. Uh, for me, it's not really hard. I've leveled back in the day to level 55, which was the cap, back before we even had an English patch. Long, long time ago, like 20, you know, 2010, 2011. So um, it's really not that hard to play. You couple quests you might not be able to figure out, but for the most part, it's just go wherever the map tells you and scan, you know? It's not hard to kill blue dots. Um, you open up the launcher, you let it do its thing. If it's not doing anything or you want to repatch it, uh, just go back up to this little options bar. And then I'm not going to do it because it's going to repatch everything. And just hit save again. As soon as you hit save, it'll start doing the patch again. You hit cancel. And then it's going to do its thing. And do not hit start like you would think you would do. Now you patched it. You want to exit out. And now you want to run dbog.exe. And what that's going to do is everything should not be grayed out now. Let it do its non-responding thing that it loves to do. A couple left clicks, speed it up. And you have a correct start bar. Type in your account, type in your password, hit start. That username is non-existent. So if you want it, go ahead. Um, and that's how you get in. Everything should run smooth now. Um, I'm gonna give you two surefire ways to fix any other problems you're having. Um, I had so many problems installing it on my gaming computer. It's extremely overclocked. I've been messing around with voltages for so freaking long. Um, it runs everything stable, but it hates installing things. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna bust out uh, a 16 gig flash drive because eight won't work. The file, the folder size is like 8.61, I believe, yes. So what you're gonna do, go to a friend's house, uh, high school, college, um, anybody with a computer that will not error out during installation. And once you have it fully, make sure you know you have the two main files and everything installs perfectly. Don't ever worry about running it because you have to set up everything I just showed you uh, in the last five minutes of me talking. So once you have everything fully installed correctly, like this is my laptop, my gaming computer would not install this game. I had just a ton of errors, you know, terrain errors, uh, just a ton of errors. The game hates me on that computer. The computer hates me, really. Um, so what I do is right click, copy the game folder, paste the whole game folder, not the installation, the game folder, 8.61 gigs, copy it to a flash drive. Go over to the computer that hates you and just simply paste the folder the whole folder to the computer and run the game do all your firewall antivirus settings and it fixed all the problems for me and that computer errors everything out so i mean sometimes it hates me so much i have to run like uh jutsu offline 2 jutsu online 2 i said offline jutsu online 2 um i got videos on that it's like a naruto uh uh, World of Warcraft type game. Uh, it's you know, it's okay. It's pretty good. I like I like it personally um, That game won't even run on that computer because it hates me so much I actually have to run the game off of the flash drive and the game works fine So um, at the end of the year, I'm building a whole new computer and all that stuff. But anyways not to get off topic Install the whole game file on the USB and simply paste it and play it and that should work now if all of this does not help you last thing you could do is go to the uh, Dragon Ball Online Global website and post your problem in the technical support. They are really, the team is really, really good at responding. Even Danos himself may help you. So that's the best way to go about it. And that's as far as I can help you. I still get like a lot of messages on Facebook and stuff. Um, that's as far as I can help you. So if this video didn't help you, I can't, I can't help you anymore. Um, try technical support but that should solve all of your problems so um hope this helped at least a few people um i haven't been live streaming as much as i usually do because a lot of people don't know i've been playing this developmental server for like the last year i've already been through two server wipes where i lost a ton of characters that were over level 50 so there's one more server wipe coming so i'm really not that excited to level high again so i'll be on here and there um until the full open beta so um maybe i'll play later today we'll see
So that's going to do it for this video. I have a lot of big stuff planned coming up. Um, a lot of, just a lot of big stuff. I don't want to give too much away. So um, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, tell a friend, subscribe. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>